24 players return for day three of the 2010 World Series of Poker Circuit Hammond Regional Championship, all of them in the money. After only one level, only 16 players remain, with the bust-outs coming fast and furious. One player to build during this level is Shannon Shore, and we caught up with him on the break. Uh, yeah, it's been kind of a wild ride. On day one, the last hand of the night, uh, there was a hand where I got a lot of money in with Jack Seven Hearts versus Michael Pezik's Two Queens, and I got there. So I uh, should have been out probably late in day one, but l lucky to be alive there, doubled to like double stack. And I've uh, been cruising a little bit. I, yes, yesterday was kind of a battle, but been kind of cruising today. I'm up to like 680, averages 400, so it's going all right so far. Now, when you uh, get lucky like that, how does the rest of the tournament feel? Are you just feeling like uh, whatever you get, you're grateful for? Or at this point, would you be disappointed with anything less than first? Yeah, to, to a degree, you feel like you're on a free roll. But uh, you kind of put that, you know, that's, that's in the past. So, you, you know, you take one hand at a time from then on. But, you know, you don't, you don't want to get it in like that. You'd rather get it in with the best of it. But, you know, that, that's poker. You know, I've been on the wrong end plenty of times, too. So, yeah. Pretty nice hand uh, right before the redraw against Kevin Stammen. Yeah, I opened two queens. He moved in. Uh, from the small, so I had an easy call, and uh, was surprised he had a hand as good as, good as Ace King because he didn't have many chips. I expected to see pretty much any Ace, and a King came in the window, but a Queen was right behind it, so that, that was kind of fun. And of course, you make quads. Uh, yeah, I made quads on the end. Be sure to stay tuned to Card Player TV for more coverage from the 2010 World Series of Poker Circuit Regional Championship.